What are the consequences for Russia other than uh, Secretary Kerry won't talk to them on this particular issue uh, going forward? The consequences are that the civil war will continue in Syria, that extremist, extremist groups will continue to exploit uh, the, the vacuums that are there in Syria to expand their operations, um, which will include, no, no question, uh, attacks against uh, Russian interests, perhaps even Russian cities. You can bet it's time for an economic reset. For far too long, we've been living on borrowed time. With low-paying jobs, student loans, and housing starts falling apart, stock market fears continue to appear. But the direction is clear, and the answers are near. It's the countdown to the collapse. You know your circus tent is falling in on itself. On itself. In 2011, a multi-sided armed conflict starts in Syria with a long list of international countries involved. Russia has supported the internationally recognized government of Syria since the beginning of the Syrian crisis with military aid and politically by vetoing a number of United Nations resolutions seen as pro-Western and against Bashir Assad, the president of Syria. In January and February of 2012, Russian peace initiatives were dismissed by the opposition in Syria. As a result, sides were drawn and the people of Syria began to experience a proxy war. Nations all over the world began to flood the region with weapons of all types. And on more than one occasion, reports of the use of chemical weapons has been documented, with both sides accusing the other of violating international law. Countries supporting President Bashir Assad are Russia, China, and Iran. Supporters of the opposition are the United States of America, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Jordan, and Turkey. The situation in Syria has upped the ante of nations involved and has created a powder keg environment ready to explode at any time. June 22, 2012. A Turkish F-4 Phantom reconnaissance jet was intercepted and shot down by the Syrian army. In September of 2015, the Federation Council, Russia's upper house of the parliament, authorized the Russian president to use the armed forces in Syria. The opposition to the Assad government has been no match for the Russian air power and as a result has lost control of territory throughout Syria. November 24, 2015 a Turkish Air Force F-16 fighter jet shot down a Russian bomber aircraft near the Syria-Turkey border. Shortly after the incident, Russia deployed its advanced S-400 air defense missile system in Syria, sending a message to those supporters of the opposition that Russia will strike back if their aircraft are threatened. Throughout 2016, the Syrian government has reestablished control over large areas of the country with the help of Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah. September 29, 2016, John Kirby, United States State Department spokesman, warns Russia of more body bags and attacks on Russian cities if the Russians will not cooperate with the U.S. in Syria. October 7, 2016, a Russian general promised that no U.S. aircraft would be safe from the air defense batteries in case of military strikes on the Syrian government-controlled areas. The world is on edge as the two most powerful military nations on the planet issue threats and warnings not to cross lines that have been drawn in Syria. This is Countdown to the Collapse. I'm David Naylor of GetReadyProductions.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications when I upload a new video. You can support my work by buying my mother's book I published this year entitled Mom Said A Little Book To Grow By. Also, if you need help competing for good paying jobs, preview my course Skills to Pay the Bills to learn how to write a perfect resume and develop effective interviewing techniques.